Hi, my name is Keith Sturgeon. I want to uh, just tell you a little bit about what you're going to watch. We film short stories to help young adults just get a wider view on life, just make it through tough times, and just see how they can even uh, grow through their situations, grow closer to God, grow as a person, and just build themselves up instead of letting something break them down. So we look forward to hearing what you have to say. We hope you enjoy the story. No, I'm I'm listening. I'm listening. What? No. Don't don't come over. How far are you? I'm just, I don't feel good. Um, I think it was something I ate or uh, something crazy. Maybe from drinking. Alright. I'm here. Alright, yes. Just, I Just come. I'm here. You came to tell me about work, right? I did. I got a promotion. Congratulations. Really? You know how hard I've been working for this promotion. I said congratulations. What's wrong? We miss you in church. Oh. Uh, yeah. Pastor was uh, looking for somebody to head up Sunday school. Can we not go there? Why? I just.
because he doesn't believe in church? No, it's I don't want to talk about it. And why do you, you try to make it seem it. you try to make it seem like he's the reason for everything? He has to be the reason. As soon as you started dating him, you don't go to church, you quit your job. For what? Okay, one, I don't need my job because he pays for everything. He bought my house, he bought the sofa, my purses, my shoes. I don't why do I need to work? I'm sorry. Is that is that all you need in life? No. Purses and shoes? But you're right, I don't. I don't just need purses and shoes, I need him. And I have him, so I'm good. Oh, you need him. Before it was you need Christ, but now you need him. AJ, please. I'm just saying, I'm worried about you. Okay, well, if Christ was so good, he wouldn't have bought him my way. So, Did he God him bought way? him in my life I for a reason. Rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I know he didn't bring him your way. Okay. Because if he did, you wouldn't be so upset. You wouldn't be walking around here in sweatpants. What? He made you cut your hair. I didn't cut my hair. It, it just kind of is shorter. It's shorter. And he. Oh. So he mentions that he didn't like your hair long because other women or other men were looking at it. And you actually cut your hair. A lot of people do a lot of things for their significant other. Is it hair? Do they quit their job? Do they? Do they stop going to church? He didn't force me to stop going to church. Well, he didn't force did me stop? to quit my job. I just, I, maybe I want to spend more time at home with him. You were happier before him. I wasn't. I was overworked. I was tired of dating stupid men who didn't do anything for me. Oh my God, but you loved life. I still you, love life. No, you don't. You love these four walls. I never see you out of them. Okay, AJ. I, this conversation is redundant. I don't what do you want? I want you to ask for help. That's what I want you to do. I really want you to get him out of your life, but that's fine. I'll settle for help. I don't know how to ask for help. I don't know where to begin. I don't. I don't even understand how I got so far down this hole. We all like shit that on the street. I've done some unforgivable things. And who hasn't? <laughs> you know all about the skeletons in my closet. You must be. Simple. It's always been simple, and you know it best. You're the one who taught me. Just pray. That's it. He loves us. He loves us.